My next demo is going to be of the humble potato. Now the potato is a drawer, but the potato is very gentle. There are areas in the body you would not put onion and you would not put ginger and you would not put garlic, but the gentle potato. So where are those areas? In the tender parts of the body. So your eyes. It's very calming and cooling for inflamed eyes, conjunctivitis, um, sprained ankle. In fact, that's what we put on Zaza when she sprained her ankle yesterday was the grated potato. The grated potato is very cooling. So if you've got an inflamed red area, the potato, because it's high in phosphorus and potassium, the skin absorbs that. And because it's very alkaline, it neutralizes the acid condition, cools it, and it can draw out and reduce the inflammation. Now, the way I make my poultices is mess-free. That's what I like, mess-free. So I wrap up Glad Wrap a few times. And what I'm aiming for with my poultice is that I've got a little bit more plastic around the edge of my poultice. So I put that down. And then I put the cloth that I'm going to make the poultice on down. And then I grate it. But this has a... So you can grate it straight onto the cloth. Now, I'm not sure what you call these in America. We call them Chuck's cloths. I guess that's the brand name but I guess you call them a cleaning cloth, yeah? And they're disposable and they've got little holes in them. If someone had breast cancer, I wouldn't use this, but if someone had a, a swollen ankle or a sprained ankle, it would be fine to use for that. Be very careful you don't use too much potato because if you use too much potato, the poultice can get very wet and if the poultice leaks, it's no fun. So you spread that out a little bit. So can you see how much I've put on here? And now I'm going to fold it over which is how you make the poultice. You fold over two sides like that and then you fold over the other two sides. So I now have a package and now I turn it over because where you put the poultice on, you're going to put it on that side that just has one layer. So can you see how much plastic I've got around my poultice? Now let's say that I just sprained my, my wrist and it was all swollen. Then I would put it on like this and see how the plastic just covers it a little bit. I don't like too much plastic on my skin, but it just covers it. And then you could uh, bandage that on. And if the, if, the, if the tissue's swelling, you would wrap it on and keep it on all night or keep it on for a few hours. Potato is used for tissue inflammation. So there's your sprained ankle. It can be for an ingrown toenail. Um, I think it was about three years ago on my bicycle, I crashed on our bridge, our wooden bridge, and a, um, a splinter went into my finger when I fell over. And that was very sore. And it was so sore you, you couldn't get it out. It was embedded in. And so I made a grated potato poultice, a little bit smaller than that, and I put it on and bound it up and slept with it like that all night. And I slept quite well. I didn't really have much pain. It was very painful when it first happened, as you can imagine, down beside, was beside the nail, but just under where the nail bed starts. The next day I, I took it off, and of course my finger's all wrinkly, but there was no pain at all. You see, what that had done is it, it had kept it from being inflamed. When, if it started to get sore, I put another grated potato on it. I think I did that about, see this happened Friday afternoon, so I did it Friday night. I think I did it again Saturday afternoon and again Sunday afternoon. And I think Monday again. 
And then Wednesday morning, so what's that? Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning. So on the fifth day, I looked at it and I saw the black, the black, and I just pushed it and this black splinter came out and it was quite big <laughs> and it was quite fat. Now, what, had ha what would have happened if I hadn't done the potato? It would have swelled right up, yeah? And would have got very red and very sore. And I go to the doctor and he says, you've got an infection. Do you know, all it is, is the white blood cells trying to get rid of it. And what, what, what's happening then? Painkillers, antibiotics. And yet all you need to do is keep the swelling down and the potato will keep it soft and open and it'll just come out by itself. How long do you need it to do it for? As long as it takes. Maybe if I'd done a grated potato every single day and every single night, it might have come out a little bit earlier. But I must tell you the story of what happened to my son. My younger son, William, when he was about 10, he was running around the side of a swimming pool and the people had landscaped it to make it look like an oasis. So there were old sleepers, you know, from old train tracks and ferns. And he bumped his foot that, as he was running up on a, on a sleeper that was breaking down. And he came running to me crying and I had a look and just under his toe on the ball of foot, there was a hole and I had tweezers and I put it in as much as I dared, but I thought something must have gone in and come out. So that night I put a grated potato poultice on his foot and in the morning um, it looked okay, but he was limping. So every, every night I did a grated potato poultice on his foot and he was still limping. And I didn't quite understand why he still was. And that's when I started to think maybe something is in there. Now to speed up the process, I did hot and coals. So this is a hydrotherapy. And tomorrow night, uh, Vanessa is going to give you a hydrotherapy demo. So you'll be exploring this more tomorrow night. What I did was I did the hot for three minutes and she will be explaining in more detail why this works and I did cold for 30 seconds and I did this three times so that's only 10, 10 minutes doesn't take long and it brings a lot of relief because it causes a massive amount of blood to come to the area and that pushes the old blood out. So I did that morning and I did that night and I put a grated potato poultice on it overnight. It looked quite clean. And all day he'd be running around playing, limping. And after two and a half weeks, he's still limping. And I'm not sure what to do. I'm just doing what I know and we're managing it. And a, a friend visited and I said to him, I don't know what's the matter with William's foot. Now he did what I hadn't dared do he pushed the bottom of William's foot. William screamed. My friend said, there's a hunk of wood in that foot. William looked at me worried because William, my youngest, was a little delicate. Now my second son, down next, to, next to William, the next one up, I could do anything to Peter. But William was a little more delicate. I had to be careful what I did. So you've you got to change things depending on who you're working with. I said, it's all right, William will do grated potato surgery. So what I did was I did a grated potato overnight. I did the hot and coals in the morning. Then I put another grated potato on. And then in the middle of the day, I put another grated potato on. So I'm doing non-stop grated potato. I thought, we're gonna speed this up. After two and a half days of that, William's foot like, looked like a wrinkled old prune, but we had to get this out. After two and a half days, when I took the poultice off in the morning, there was a black circle in the hole. I looked at it and I got a needle with William's permission and I just slipped the skin back a little bit. The skin was so soft from all the poultices and I put the needle in, into the black thing on the side and I started to pull it out and I stopped called the family. I mean, we'd been watching William limp for two and a half weeks. I didn't want anyone to miss out on this. <laughs> and then I said to William, you pull it out. And he just pulled it out. And it was an inch long, the thickness of two matchsticks. 
Now in the foot, it would have been, say here's the foot. Sorry, I'm not a, a great drawer, but you get the gist. It was about there in the foot. And it was, you know, the hole, when I saw the black in the hole, it was about that big. Now, I don't think it was like that or we would have felt it. I don't think it was like that, but I think the pulse, the, sorry, the splinter was sort of up on an angle like that. Grated potato and hot and cold. <laughs> what did I do to the hole then? Because it was a mighty hole. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> because now that the offending article had been removed, the body would quickly heal. I did encourage him not to go barefoot in a lot of dirt and manure. <laughs> so, but it, but it quickly healed. In fact, he still has the scar there today. The, the round circle that's about as big as a lentil. He still has that scar and he's just turned 30. What would have happened if I hadn't done the hot and coals or the potato? I'd say his foot would have swelled up. Yep. Sleeper, you mentioned how, you know, these are old, old sleepers with lots of grime in them. I'd say a red line would have gone up his leg, rushed to hospital. The doctor might have put him on, well, he would have put him on high dose antibiotics, maybe painkillers. How old is he? He's only eight. Would he have cut, gone and cut in? And you know what happens if they cut there and miss it, what can they do? They're not going to slice the foot like this to try and find it. And yet, just grate a potato. William's son, little Sonny, when he was three, he stood on a rusty nail. Now, little boys always want to hang around the men, don't they? And the men are on the job site, and he's just got a pair of those rubber crocs on, and there's building material around, and he stood on a rusty nail, and it went through the croc and into his foot. Must have gone in probably about half an inch. He was crying and, we, and Mark was said to his mum, take him to grandma. So they brought him to my house and he was very dirty because he's a little boy and he's been playing in the dirt all day. So what's the first thing you do? Put him in the bath. Give him a wash and the not warm water will calm him down. And then I made a grated potato bandage for the bottom of his foot. It was probably about that big put his little foot on there, bandaged it on, put his sock on and then put the little croc on because, you know, those rubber crocs, you can have a fairly fat bandage on and it'll slip in. And he was happy as happy then. No more pain. The potato had, had done that. That was about, oh, early afternoon. That night they put a fresh grated potato poultice on and the next day it looked clean, it was not sore, so they didn't do anything. That night, they did a grated potato. Three nights, they did a grated potato. After the third night, William came to me with the poultice after they took it off. He said, Mum, look at this. And on the top of the poultice, there were little shavings of metal that were like a fluorescent blue colour. He said, the potato has pulled the rusty metal out of the foot and cleaned up the rusty metal. We didn't do another thing. Why not? Well, the foot was happy. If the foot got red, if the foot got sore, you just, you, just, you just do it again. It's like William's foot. Because two and a half weeks of doing this overnight hadn't done it, and I realised there was something in there, I just hit it harder. Just did it a little bit more often. So if you're not quite getting the results, do the hot and coals. You can do hot and coals on your feet, you can do it on your hands, maybe your elbow. And, uh, and put the poultice on. So remember, the potato is for tissue inflammation. And remember, it can be used on eyes. It can be re re used wherever there's, there's inflammation in tender parts of the body. A friend of mine rang up and her little boy, I hear him crying in the background. He was a crawling baby. And his little penis was swollen twice the size. What are you going to do? And if you take him to hospital, what are they going to do? I said, make a grated potato poultice. It's very quick. Put that over his whole scrotum. Put his diaper on, as you say. She said within five minutes, he stopped crying and fell asleep. Poor little guy was exhausted. 
He slept for two hours. What does that tell you? He's not in pain. When he woke up, she took his little nappy diaper off and everything was back to normal. Sometimes you don't know what has caused the problem. The good thing about this is even though you are treating symptoms, you are also contributing to the healing. My girlfriend was a hippie and her little boy used to crawl around with no diaper or nappy on, maybe a something bitty, maybe a little bit of dust got in the area. Sometimes you don't know. But the potato took all the swelling down, which means no more pain, and she had no more trouble with the area. If she did, what do you do? You just do that again. Can you see how you're listening and you're watching to what the body says? One lady rang me up and she said, my daughter just stood on a rusty nail. She's 10, it went almost through the top of her foot. We've seen your poultice DVD because this lecture is up on YouTube. She said, we put grated potato on. It's been an hour later and it's still a little bit sore and swollen. So I said to her, do the hot and coals. Take the poultice off, do hot and coals, and then put another fresh potato on and ring me in two hours. She rang me and she said, there's no more swelling, there's no more pain, and the little girl's laughing. Now, if she'd said to me, the pain is still there and the swelling's still there, I'm not there, so I can't tell. So I would say, well, you need to go to the, have it checked out at the hospital or the doctor. But I've actually never had to do that because everything I've done has always brought relief. That's the good news. 